Good morning, it's Michael Lipinski again. All right, so uh, back to the Revit tutorial. I know it's a little early, 8.37. We've got about three minutes till school starts. Um, importing versus linking. We have to get into that, but I want to just reiterate about mapping font styles. Another aspect for inserting CAD data is the ability to map shape-based to true type fonts. Usually a remnant of older CAD standards based on graphic performance. CAD files may contain fonts such as simplex, Roman S, or monotext that do not have matches in standard Windows fonts. The shx fontmap.txt file defines the mapping of true type fonts as substitutes for each specified shx font. You can find this text file at c forward slash program data forward slash Autodesk forward slash RVT space 2018 forward slash user data cache period. If your firm frequently uses CAD data as an integrated part of your final documentation, the shx fontmap.txt file should be configured to map your standard CAD fonts to your standard fonts used in the Revit project. This file should then be copied to the workstations for all team members using Revit software. Failure to do so may result in undesirable results when using CAD files in a work sharing environment. And, and that's important to note. That's, that's definitely important to note. Um, for we have uh, a few things that we have to get done this morning, one of which is uh, discussing importing and linking Revit, Revit files. Now, that being said, let me just close some of the some of the browsers that I have open here. Just give me one second. Okay, let's see here. This is uploading to Tube. Let's take a look over here. That's over there. A lot of content. A lot of content. Yeah, just give it a minute. We're going to uh, get this going in a second. Okay, so, um, yeah, you can insert CAD data into the Revit environment in two, in, in two uh, ways. You can import them or you can link them. Each method has advantages and disadvantages. Linking, linking a CAD file in a Revit project is analogous to an external reference. If anyone who's used CAD knows that uh, you externally reference something with either an absolute or a relative coordinate. And if you maintain the path, that path will be updated along the length of the project. Now, in addition to that, absolute coordinates will notify the linked model as well as the host drawing that it is a link exists at an exact address mapped to a letter on a network or, or, or local drive. A relative position link will allow the software to look for an emulated directory tree up three or four directories from the root directory that the link file resides in. Constantly moving these files around is what um, is, is the loss of fidelity. And, and therein lies um, the, the beauty of both platforms, or AutoCAD, MEP, AutoCAD, as well as Revit, to constrain uh, the user's ability to have drawings just all over the place. It becomes, uh, it becomes a logistical nightmare. Uh, BIM 360 addresses this, uh, and AutoCAD MEP addresses it as well, and so does Revit. It addresses this uh, user input error constant. It, it's a constant error that uh, users tend to fall uh, trapped to. All right, in any event, uh, a link cat file is a, in a Revit project is analogous to an external reference in an AutoCAD project. When the original CAD file is modified, its reference is automatically updated in the Revit environment. Linking also 
allows you to easily unload or remove a file when it is no longer needed, which will leave no trace of the file's contents after removal, which is good. Uh, embedded applications are something you don't want to have uh, tossing around in, in the file's cache. Linked data cannot be modified directly in a Revit project unless it is converted to a, an import in the Manage Links dialog box and then explode it. We discussed this process in the Manipulating Inserted CAD Data section later in this chapter. As an alternative, it can be modified in its original authoring application and then updated within Revit. Importing. Similar to using the insert command in AutoZass AutoCAD software, importing data integrates the CAD data into the Revit project but does not allow the imported data to be upload, updated. If the original CAD is modified, in such a case, the imported data would have to be deleted and re-imported. It also does not give you an easy way to purge the layers, line types, and hash patterns of an imported file if the data has been exploded and then deleted. Linking is the preferred method for external data integration. This is primarily because linked data files, the linked Revit files, can be temporarily unlinked and cleared out of active memory. This gives you more flexibility with the file. However, too many linked files will make it slower to open a Revit project. For example, ceiling plan fixture layouts may change with minimal amount of, with every design iteration, whereas um, that's where, why linking is preferred. However, standard details that all share a minimal amount of standardization layers, such as li layers, line, I'm sorry. Um, however, standard details that all share a minimal amount of standardized layers, line types, hatch patterns, text, and dimension styles might be better suited as imports. Collect CAD links in a linked file. Another option to manage any CAD reference, to, to, to manage many CAD references in larger projects is to create a separate Revit project that contains only the inserted CAD data. If the CAD data is placed within the current view only option, you must use linked views between Revit models. And if the linked data does not use this option, it will be visible like any other modeled element in a linked Revit model. There, I refer to chapter six. Well, that's good because then you can just duplicate view. If you bring it in um, with that box checked, then you have to read every view. It's going to be a real pain in the butt. Um, but then again, there'll be there's drawbacks and there's um, there's benefits to that. Using option uh, using options during importing linking. After you have configured the necessary settings for inserting CAD data, and I haven't to a certain extent, and decided decided whether to import or link, you need to understand certain options during the import link process. We'll discuss the preferred settings for each of the options based on real world situations in the sections using inserted 2D data and use in using inserted 3D data. To place your first CAD file into a Revit project, switch to the Insert tab and select either the linked CAD or the Import CAD button. No matter which tool you use, there will be several important options at the bottom of the respective dialog box as shown in 7.3. Let's examine the meaning of the settings in this situation. Current view only. When this option is selected, the linked or imported file can be seen only in the view in which it was inserted and is thus considered a specific view element. In a work sharing enabled project, this data will be assigned to the views work set. More often than not, you will want to choose this option to limit the number of views in which the reference data will appear. If you need this data in other views, you can copy and paste it from one view to another. If the option is not selected, the link file can be seen in all views, including 3D elevations and sections. In a work sharing, and that may get too busy. In a work sharing enabled project, this data will be assigned to the active work set. A benefit to using links in a work sharing environment is the ability to create a work set specifically for linked data and uncheck its visible in all views option. The CAD files placed in this manner will not appear in every view but are available when you need them by adjusting the work set visibility in the visibility graphic op overrides dialog box. Colors. Colors don't matter for CAD files being used as a basis to create a Revit model. However, 
Using invert or preserve may help distinguish the CAD data from the data elements. I'm sorry, the CAD data from the model elements. During the conversion process, if you are going to integrate the inserted data with other elements in your project for final design or construction documentation, you'll want to select the black and white option because printing from Revit is mostly W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. What you see is what you get. Read the section using CAD data for coordination. For more information, recommending recommendations on this process. Now, this project that I linked in is on the work set linked level two JFK terminal four. It exists on level two. It doesn't exist and it exists on level one. And it exists on the lighting plans on level one and level two. So that was brought in with not with, with the box not checked. This is available in every view. But it rotates a lot faster than in AutoCAD. If you try rotating this on a black background, the colors tend to slow down. But in a um, in the Revit environment, you can see even with the robust amount of colors, you can see that you still have the ability to manipulate your, your view cube and, and keep your graphics card from um, absolutely bottoming out. Again, it, it threw some stress on it. But again, it, it's, uh, it's not going to overheat your uh, processor. Your fan's not going to spin off its axis. It's a much more stable platform. Layers and levels. These, this, these options allow you to import or link all the layers. Only the layers visible when the CAD files was saved was last saved. Or a selected group of layers you choose from the linked file in a separate dialog box. Layers is a DWG based term. Revit software supports the same functionality with levels from DGN files. Right, MicroStation. Import units. For CAD files generated in an original program, that is DWG from AutoCAD or DGN from MicroStation, the Auto Detect option works well. If you are linking CAD data that has been import exported from a different program, such as a DWG file exported from Rhino, you should specify the units relative to the respective CAD file. I have to read that again. For CAD files generated in an original program, that is DWG from AutoCAD or DGN from MicroStation, the Auto Detect option works well if you are linking CAD data that has been exported from a different program, such as a DWG file exported from Rhino. You should specify the units relative to the respected CAD file. Okay, now what that's saying is, let me just close this for a second. <clears throat> let me just close these windows. Let me go to manage, manage links, CAD formats. I'm going to remove it for a second. Cancel it. Go back up here. Back over here. Uh -uh. 
want to reload it again. Show you something. Now, when you reload it, you don't have the options that they're 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 showing you when you reload it. Okay. The only way you can actually make these options, uh, these changes, are when you first import it or link it. Now, I haven't imported anything. I have only linked this model. I have not imported it. Now, I want to let it run its gamut for a second. Let it run. I want to continue with this because we're going to get right into what, what, happens, what happens next. Let this do what it is I, I asked it to do. Positioning. To maintain consistency in a multi-level project during a CAD to Revit coordination or conversion process, you should use auto origin to origin or auto by shared coordinates. Origin to origin will align the world coordinates origin of the CAD file with the project internal origin. Although Autodesk claims auto by shared coordinates is only for use with linked Revit files, it can be used with CAD files if the orientation of true north becomes inconsistent using the origin to origin option. Well, that's good to know. And that's worth reading again. To maintain consistency in a multi-level project during a CAD to Revit coordination or conversion process, you should use auto, origin to aura, origin or auto by shared coordinates. Origin to origin will align the world coordinate origin of the CAD file with the project internal origin. Although Autodesk claims auto by shared coordinates is only for use with linked Revit files, it can be used with CAD files if the rotation of true north becomes inconsistent using the origin to origin option. And, and I'm going to show you how in a minute. Let's just hold this until this reloads. It's a really big file. And now I'm going to just take it. It's 11 point, it's, now it's 12 megs. Before it was 11 something. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to hit cancel. Notice, it's still here. And these are the layers that came in with it. All of these colors are different layers. And we can look, there's no Revit link here. It's an abstract. So now, what is it? It calls it an import symbol. An import symbol, which is fine for now. But so let's just hide this in view. Let's just hide the whole thing. And there's our little wall that we created. Now, going back up to manage, manage links, CAD formats. Give it a second. Path is relative. Remove. Okay. Show hidden elements. Well, now it's gone. Okay, good. Okay, so now, uh, back to manage. Back to manage links. Cat formats. Add. VPL. Now, notice the dialog box. Well, it said it can be used with CAD files if the rotation of true north becomes inconsistent using the origin to origin option. Well, correct lines that are slightly off of axis. That's what it'll do. Uh, import units or detect. Preserve or invert the colors. Now, think of that. I need you to think of that for a second. Invert. Inverter, a power inverter or inverter is a power electronic device or circuitry that changes direct current to alternating current. 
The input voltage, output voltage, and frequency and overall power handling depend on the design of the specific device or circuitry. The inverter does not produce any power. The power is provided by the DC source. Well, they just released uh, some money, and I haven't got my stimulus. Uh, but uh, we're, we're still uh, crossing our fingers here at the Lipinski family. So again, to maintain consistency in multi level project during a cat's rev coordination or conversion process, you should use auto origin to origin or auto by shared coordinates. Well, uh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And uh, I'll just do auto origin to internal origin and I'll place it back at level two. But I'm going to invert the colors this time. I'm going to invert them. Now, and while that's doing its thing, place that. This option is available only if the current view only is not selected. It specifies the level at which the inserted data will be placed. And if you remember, I had that checkbox checked. It's going to appear in all the views. We can go back and do that. Uh, so if you have, you know, 10 to 15 different levels, you can pick the level that you want this particular chalk line to, uh, to exist at. Correct lines that are slightly off axis. Selecting this option automatically corrects lines that are slightly off axis when you import a link CAD geometry. This option is selected by default and will keep your Revit elements, such as walls or line work, that tie to CAD lines from being askew. However, you may need to consider this option carefully. If the CAD data you are inserting as is intentionally off is intentionally off axis, the corrections may lead to inaccurate results. For example, a site plan may have property lines that are a fraction of a degree from being orthogonal, but they must be maintained for accurate building placement in your Revit project. Orient to view. This option may be used if true north has been rotated away from project north. If that is the case and you are linking a CAD file into the view that is set to true north, deselect this option to align the CAD's file world coordinate system with true north as defined in your Revit project. Orient to view. This object may be used if True North has been rotated away from the Project North. Okay. Now, if you do check to orient, if you do check the orient to view option, the CAD file will align with Project North regardless of the view orientation. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. So it's in there. Preserve graphic overrides? No. Yes. Well now, notice the color differential. How everything before was uh, yellow and now the colors were inverted. And uh, you can see what you see is what you get. So when we go to plot this, being that um, this is on one sheet, I believe, we could uh, then, um, again, it's going to plot what it sees. So we may not get what we expect, and I'm not going to get to plotting right now. So um, again, um, you'll uh, find that this will help you, and we're going to get to uh, manipulating inserted CAD data later. Uh, in the interim, uh, I just rolled out of bed. I want to uh, go for a walk, grab a smoke, and have a cup of coffee. Good morning to you, too. What's so good about it?